morning folks so it's a really crisp morning we've brought a fair bit of snow up from Cornwall with us which was a bit of a rarity we don't often see the white stuff down there we are at Nankang tires up in West Bromwich to pick up this beastie this is a Dodge step van it's huge in comparison to our Grumman as you can see but it's very similar in a lot of respects it's ugly and it's cold so it's coming back down to us to give us the treatment obviously not on the back of my pickup we're getting something uh, suitable to uh, carry such a large vehicle uh, can't wait to get it back in the workshop and give it the look how cool is that let's have a look inside yeah you can see bits being done here mopar or no car yeah excited to get this back to the shop and have some fun very cool gives you an idea of the scale she's a big rig need a big van to put all those cool tires in it's such a cool van loads of potential <laughs> Super cool. Loading up the big rig. Picking up some tyres and it's that vast and they've got that many different options that we're struggling to find the ones we need. So the word from the workshop is that the Dodge Step Van has arrived in Cornwall. Those guys are going to be so excited. I know exactly what's going to be happening. Once that's unloaded, they're going to go right through that, checking it all out. And I don't blame them because that thing is going to be sick when we're done with it. Yo, so the Dodge Step Van from Nankang Tires is back here outside the shop in Cornwall. And we've picked up a nice offering of tires for a couple of vehicles. The semi-slicks for the Grumman and these ATs, these all-terrain style tires for my crafter. Uh, as you can see, two opposite ends of the spectrum there that Nankang offer. These ones are cool because they've got the white uh, sidewall writing. They do also do a van rated tire in a similar tread pattern in the exact size that you need for Sprinter, Crafter, etc. Uh, and they're not something that I've seen readily on the internet. So if you need something for your, your van, give it a bit of a jacked up off-road sort of look. They are perfect. Look at the wheels on the step van. Obviously also shod in Nankang tires. If you need any tires, Nankangs, give us a call. We can hook you up. Anyway, time to have a look around this beast and see what's in store for us. So here we go. Let's start working out what needs doing on this big rig. First thing I like to do with a project like this is just get sat in the driver's seat and just check that everything feels that it's in the right place. You know, we've got all the controls where we need them, mirrors, etc. And good job I did because this is dreadful. I can't see the mirror on this side at all. It's completely obscured behind the A-pillar and the um, sheet metal work on the door. I can see forward out of this window on the side here, but I can't see across my shoulder. And certainly to try and catch my blind spot on this side, I'd be leaning forward far, far more than I'd want. Um, I just feel like I'm in the back of the van here. I've got no chance of reaching any of the switch gear on here. I can't see the speedo, for example. So unless I was to bring all of that back, which I don't want to do because I wouldn't then be able to see out the side anyway, uh, I've got to bring the seat forward. So if I just shuffle forward. Okay, so straight away, that's a vast improvement. I can see in the mirror. I can see across my shoulder out the, the window into my blind spot. I can reach the switches to some degree and I can see the display perfectly. I mean, this feels like this is where I should be sat in this vehicle to drive it safely. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is chop this seat frame out, position something temporarily in here to put me in the right position. Uh, and then I can look at things like the steering column because for whatever reason, this column's been put in laid back. Uh, it's, I mean, the UJ on this is locking up, so we know it's not right anyway, but I think this wheel needs to move more horizontally. Uh, certainly more like a coach or a lorry or like an old Volkswagen camper van. If you've driven one of those, they have a much more horizontal wheel. And that just feels like the right setup for this vehicle. So that's the first step. Let's get the grinder out and start chopping. So there we go. 
Um, it's worse. It's like if you get it first time. So there we go, guys. Another interesting project in the shop. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out more progress on this and all the other cool stuff we've got going on.